show on your side, uh, Marshall, and I like to. Uh, this call is going to be um, very, very powerful call for all of you. And I apologize for the delay today. It's uh, we have experiencing uh, uh, a lot of uh, technical difficulties, but finally we can get started. And so there, this are uh, the. Uh, you can see my screen there, are the list of things that I like to cover for tonight, and uh, hopefully we can do it within one hour, so we're not going to overboard it. Um, so first of all, I'd like to talk about my own GWP journey. It's been an amazing, amazing journey for me for past seven years, and I, I bought myself a beautiful gift, uh, birthday present seven years ago. Actually, last weekend was my birthday, last Saturday, on November 15th. So November 15th, 2007 was a life-changing day. Uh, on that day, I got myself a diamond package, and then the life is totally different from that day. So I'm going to take you through my journey, and I'm co of course uh, not only about me, I'm going to also interview a few um, powerhouse that um, uh, who's going to be on the line with me, and uh, this is going to be an amazing call for you. And hopefully, if we have time, we're going to talk about a little bit uh, our um, phase four uh, promo uh, review, and so we're going to have you reminded over and over again. So here, first of all, I want to share with you is my uh, journey and my lifestyle, why I joined Global Wall Trade seven years ago. I was looking for financial freedom opportunity. I was looking for opportunity for many, many years before Global Wall Trade, but I couldn't find one. I thought it was one, and I was not right. I thought it was one, was not right. And finally, when uh, when our uh, re uh, national ambassador right now, um, Rene Liao, um, you know, he called me seven days in a row saying, Sherry, you have to see this business. I, I refused him many days, and then finally I said, okay, I come to see the business, and I was, I, uh, then you don't have to bother me again. That's the reason I come to see the business uh, seven years ago, and then uh, I, uh, I saw the opportunity. I talked to the CEO, talked to the, uh, the VP, and I talked to many people in the, um, uh, in the office by then, and I found that could be the one, and then I got started, and um, so I, I laid out what what is my reason I want to build it strong. Just like what well in uh, in your launch plan, in your next thirty days, we ask you to put on your why, why you want to do global wealth trade. So what what is, what was my why by then? I want to reach my financial freedom. I want to be debt free. By then, I was um, I had a heavy uh, student loan. I believe a lot of uh, a lot of you had that too. Student loan is uh, one of the biggest killer to young people. So I had a, a lot of student loan. I had some credit card debt. So I want to be debt free. The number one reason. Number two, I want to uh, I want to travel. Love travel. I love, love to go to go to different places. And um, travel to me is just uh, just enjoyment, and I love love travel, and I, I believe a lot of you do too. And what about first class travel? You know, not uh, just travel, but travel first class. That was one of my dream. You know, a lot of people can travel, uh, you know, but travel uh, with uh, at a discount and uh, you know um, very. You know, the, in different condition, but I I enjoy first class. I uh, you know, if you can book first class um, flight, uh, why you want to go for economy? If you can go to five star hotel, six star hotel, uh, six star hotel, why you want to go to the motel, right? So this is a uh, this is another thing I want, and the most important reason I wanted I wanted to have residual income, I want to have financial freedom because I have a lovely, lovely mom, and she's she was, she's a single mom, and she's uh, she raised me. Um, I'm the only daughter to her, and she raised me, and you can see her beautiful picture on the right hand side with me, and uh, I love her so much. And she sacrificed her own lifestyle to give me the lifestyle that I want. So I want to give back to her. So that was the reason why when I first got started with GWT, and that was the re uh, that was the three big reason that I, you know, want get me to move to to build a strong business. So, and I always when when I have my downtime, I always go back to these three reasons. And you know, when I had everyone has that down downtimes. No, I'm not like um, very 
super super um, positive all the time I have my you know up and downs everyone do so this is the reason why like if you have something that you laid out for yourself you write it down and uh, go back to your reason if you have any time that uh, you know you're not at uh, at your hundred percent so so let me get started about my journey here you know, um, I started 2007. These are the pictures I took, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad I got you. I, I can find this uh, picture back then, uh, 2007. When I first got started, I'm not only invest in the uh, as a diamond package. I also invest uh, in the company as shareholder. I put in uh, in the money to buy the shares, and I'm really, really uh, glad that I did it. And this is um, uh, on the right hand side. The, uh, this is my business partner forever and ever. Amy Fong, and you're gonna see a lot of her uh, nowadays. And she's uh, she she was uh, she has been quiet for a little bit. She was in Hong Kong with her family, and then now she's back to uh, Toronto and uh, ready to build again. But she's my partner forever and ever. I love her dearly, and um, uh, she joined she joined the business uh, uh, with me the same day, and uh, we built we've been building this business business together every single day um, when we first got started and until she went to Hong Kong. So we took, uh, uh, this is uh, our, fir uh, the, our first shareholders meeting with Nats, with uh, Ramin, with Renee, and that also, also many, many other people, of course, but these are the three amazing people that we work with day in, day out. Okay, uh, when I first got started, and uh, and of, of course you can also see Renee and Jeanette and, uh, and some other people who quit too early. And if they didn't quit, uh, they they would have thousands of people in their in their organization as well. But the reason why we uh, have thousands of people. The reason why Jeanette Beaver now joined the 10K Club, the reason why um, Renee Liao is still uh, making hundred thousand dollars a month because we are here, because we didn't quit because because of any other uh, circumstances. So we were at our first trade show. We didn't know what uh, much to do. And uh, you can see um, we didn't have a lot of uh, beautiful products like w what do we have right now. We only have some fashion jewelry by then. And uh, we just uh, um, we rented a booth and uh, got our table and you know lay out some jewelry there. So that's how we got started uh, back in uh, uh, early this uh, first month of 2008. And uh, in April of 2008, we uh, I attended uh, our first our first um, GWT convention. Uh, we called conference by then. So and uh, congratulations to Renee Liao. He got his uh, first. Um, he he actually. Um, uh, become uh, the present cup winner by then, uh, and that inspired Tammy and myself so much. And we received our leadership award, of course. And um, we we really inspired by Renee, and we decided to build even harder. So, and uh, and bes uh, besides that, in the same year, I got married. Uh, I got uh, I was proposed by the man of my dreams, and uh, uh, he he smart enough got me uh, got myself a very much ring, and um, so I I res I I cannot resist that ring, so I said yes to 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 my man. And, uh, now he's my husband. Um, so move on to 2009. What happened? Uh, because we are so inspired by Renee, uh, our uh, personal sponsor, and uh, we saying we have to go work even harder. And that uh, here we go. Tammy and myself, we uh, received our present cup, and um, that's the highest, most honorable award. When I heard my name was called by uh, Ramin, my I couldn't believe my ears, and. Uh, here we go. We uh, we became the President Cup uh, winner, and it's such an honor. And uh, with with this honor, of course, come with the responsibilities. We build even harder. And um, what happened to my personal life in the 2009? Because I got married uh, to the man of my dreams, and I upgrade my car from Toyota to Mercedes. So that's a life changing uh, for me in 2009. With um, along the line with GWT.
And in uh, 2010, um, I traveled with the corporate and, uh, and uh, of course, my team. And you can see uh, this uh, uh, Mr. Brian Arendelle in the middle. And, uh, of course, with uh, uh, our senior vice president, uh, Sinat Human, we, uh, we went to St. Martin twice that year, actually, um, to, to help uh, to, to experience the St. Martin uh, official launch. And um, at, uh, at the same year, uh, we uh, the company had a two big launch, which is a ferry for her and a ferry for him. So uh, Tammy and myself and uh, and Mr. Uh, Arrow Trench, we had so much fun, and uh, that was the black tie uh, event in the headquarter for the ferry for him uh, um, launch there. And at the same year, uh, because of uh, uh, the money that I'm making with Global Wall Trade, I actually invested in my first real, real estate uh, investment property, a luxury condo, and actually we, uh, I sold it in uh, 2013 with a very good profit. You know, you, you, should, you need to be smart with your money. The money that you're making, you invest in uh, other uh, in other properties and uh, uh, making more residual income or making more money for you. And of course, uh, and I also like to have fun, I like to travel as I share with you, uh, I enjoyed my first anniversary um, with my husband in the beautiful Hawaii, and I wish I can share with you more about uh, my Hawaii trip later on. This is uh, our first trip to Hawaii, it's beautiful there, and I love Hawaii since then. Okay, move on to 2011. Tammy Fong and myself achieved our ambassador stat status in, the, uh, in uh, April 2011 before uh, Tammy moved to Hong Kong. And you can see this uh, the, the shirt that we received as ambassador. Now we have a much nicer shirt, uh, excuse me for that, but uh, I, I still I still enjoy the, the recognition there. And um, um, of course, on the right hand side, you can see our youngest regional ambassador now. By then, she actually, at this, on the same day when we become, became the ambassador, um, uh, Maria Gaderi uh, achieved her first leadership status. Uh, congratulations to her. That was in April 2011. She became our youngest diplomat and um, she joined the diplomat club. So moved on to, uh, and also for my personal life there, 2011 is my vacation, uh, my, uh, vacation year, uh, vacation year, I should say. Vacation year in, <laughs> I, ca I call it vacation because I go, I, I go to so many different places I got paid and, uh, I actually have that, uh, I love to travel as I said earlier. So I travel every other month, uh, that's actually was on my uh, um, on my dream board and um, was on my target list and that was happening on the, on two, in 2011 I literally traveled almost every other month went to Hong Kong Macau uh, China uh, uh, of course California I was living uh, I lived in uh, in Toronto by then so I traveled so much until uh, one day I want to settle down. So in 2012, what happened, uh, I actually uh, achieved my first regional ambassador and status and I uh, became the first uh, female regional ambassador with uh, Global Wall Street. I'm really honored to receive that. And um, with that, you can go to uh, travel for free and that's 100% paid by Global Wall Street and which we're going to uh, mention a little bit uh, in, uh, in a little bit. So in 2012, for my personal life, I actually, my husband and I moved to um, uh, settle down in uh, sunny California. You know, we debate uh, Toronto or California. Of course, California has, is, has much better weather and it's so beautiful. So we, we chose uh, Long Beach uh, to, uh, as, uh, as the place that we want we wanted to stay and here we go. And uh, we stayed in California. 2013 was the highlight of, the, of that year. Six years in GWT by then, last year, and uh, my VDM retail um, actually uh, accumulated over six million dollars. And I'm very happily uh, um, receiving that board from, uh, from the corporate and the, taking the picture with my beautiful ladies here. And in 2013, and my husband and I found a beautiful ocean view condo and we, we moved in and uh, lived there since then. 
So that's my personal life in 2013 and 2014. That, that is that our vacation I was talking about a little bit earlier. I qualified for that in the uh, late 2012 and uh, 2014. We finally uh, coordinate all the time together with uh, amazing, amazing regional ambassadors and national ambassadors uh, with Sean Haynes, with Leo Scaler, uh, Rene Liao, Raja Mascalu, Maria Gaderi. We, uh, we went to build Beautiful, beautiful resort in uh, uh, called Paradises, and 100% paid by by GWT, and um, it was amazing, amazing vacation. We we uh, we had a lot of fun over there, and as you can as you can tell in the picture that I'm showing here. And in the same year, um, what happened uh, for my income wide? I actually my income hit a new record here, and um, I re, uh, we. We call it the cap club. What is cap? Uh, for those of you who don't understand, a cap means $10,000 a week. Okay, so in August 2000 and, um, in August 2014, my, my income hit the, um, the new record as, um, basically, uh, I reached $10,000 a week in my income. When I, when I didn't even dream to, like, I didn't, even thought that that would happen when I first joined the uh, the business. I didn't thought ten thousand dollars a week is possible. You know, uh, was uh, was maybe just a dream, but it's possible. It's a reality. It was reality. Um, you know, when I when when I hit it. So I'm more excited as, uh, um, uh, about the business, about my, uh, our global Wall Street is that not only myself making money, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a group of people out in Nigeria who's making amazing money and this, this group of people are hitting that 10,000 club, 10,000 10, 10K club basically means $10,000 a month. You, um, you can make $10,000 a month in Nigeria, and I want to mention one more uh, one thing here. Nigeria is not a easy country. A lot of people say, "Oh, it's not easy to uh, to to do this business here. People are uh, people don't have money, or um, the people too skeptical, or uh, the shipping cost is too much, or this and that uh, excuses or reason." But for these people, uh, leading by Comfort Legiru and uh, um, with uh, these people, Hawa, Kafina, uh, Abdul Razak, these amazing, amazing people, they actually in, uh, joined the business literally just la early last year, early in 2013, and some of them. And uh, uh, for actually, uh, I, I, if I, uh, if I um, I'm correct here, Abdul Razak uh, joined the business uh, early this year, 2014. You know, they joined the 10K club and for um, Abdul Razak actually, he's going to speak in a little bit uh, with you here. He joined the business in that, uh, 2004, within one year, within less than one year, he actually reached a 25,000, 25K club, means $25,000 a month income. That's a milestone. So I want to mention here is not only, like, for a lot of people say, oh, uh, when I mention this to, uh, to, uh, to some, some people who, who don't understand, uh, our business saying, this business is not only up, not making money. Not only the, the people on the top making money. People, wherever you join, doesn't matter where you join the business. You can join this year and you can make good money, but you have to do the business. Okay. So, 2014 was another milestone for my, for me on the, on the personal side. I give birth to a beautiful baby and the baby, uh, my beautiful baby girl here, uh, in, uh, exotic island Hawaii it was not planned it. I went to Hawaii for, for our fifth anniversary with my, uh, with my husband and uh, we went there just because we, um, we, uh, we want to, we want to celebrate our, uh, our own times before the baby come and she decided to join us in Hawaii. So on the third day of my vacation and she, uh, uh, she broke my water and then, uh, uh we went to the hospital and, uh, we, <laughs> the, the, the doctor saying, you're not going to, you're not going home anytime soon. So um, nothing, not, nothing much I can do and, uh, but to obey to doctors. And we, uh, I give birth to a beautiful baby girl, uh, in the, uh, September, on um, September 11th and, uh, she 
she's uh, she's healthy she's uh, she's a um, very healthy and um, um, very beautiful girl and I'm very glad that she's uh, she's here with me but um, I mean was uh, what could be a, a financial disaster for a lot of people uh, be honest with you I'm so I'm so so fortunate um, I'm so fortunate that we have uh, we have uh, um, you know we have this uh, uh, business and uh, the business work for me uh, every single week I, I have residual income regardless I was uh, pregnant I was having baby um, I couldn't, regardless if I can do the business uh, fully, like uh, like back in 2007, 2008, 2009. Um, right now, I'm not uh, doing as much as uh, as uh, as uh, then. However, my income keep going going up and up and up and up. That's residual income. Uh, what's what's real residual income means we do it once right once and then. Um, and uh, and and this is a uh, and you can you can you can get paid what uh, over and over and over again. So my next target, basically, we are on, my next target is achieve million dollar status with Global Wall Street in December uh, two uh, two thousand fifteen. And now I have no more excuses. I have uh, my baby is uh, is born, and I'm I'm I I mean I'm a mother. I I have more desire to provide a better lifestyle for her and I have a lot of uh, plans for her and I want to make a lot more money and with Global Trade I know we can and this is a true residual income as well. So here and uh, I, uh, the next target is to empower 100 uh, luxury consultants to achieve their financial freedom. So who's coming with me? Okay, this is my question for you. Who's coming with you? Uh, with me to do? We have thousands of people, but I I only see the people who are working the business can make it. And if you want to be financially free, you can do it with Global Wall Trade, but you have to do it. So now I'm gonna move on to uh, our powerhouse interview. You you already see my journey with Global Wall Trade, and um, I have. Uh, five people lined up here, and I want to make sure that we um, we have uh, we can finish this within time timely on uh, uh, minor. So uh, probably like uh, each of uh, each of uh, uh, interviewed uh, getting about five to to ten minutes, and uh, we want um, first invite our host and Marshall to be on this call back uh, uh, with me. Hello, Marshall, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Sherry. Can you hear me loud and clear? Absolutely. Okay, Marshall, you are the first powerhouse I'd like to interview for tonight. And, uh, you know, I, it's not about me. I, I want to make sure that everyone understands. I've been with the business for seven years, but how long have you been with the business? Um, well, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be on here. You know, right now I'm currently in Las Vegas. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, we're having a great time here, but um, I've been with Global Wall Trade for about a year, almost a year and a half. Okay. So it's literally uh, about a year and a half, and uh, you have achieved a lot I, uh, I, that I understand. So let's go through. Um, uh, I'd like to, uh, let's first, uh, I'd like to know why GWT for you. You know what? Um, you know the reason why I go, uh, chose Global Wall Trade, especially in direct sales, is this is the only company that's in luxury fashion, and the fact is luxury fashion better than that is actually affordable um, to everyone as well, depending on their budget. You know, so coming from a business, um, um, you know, background, and also um, the way I view things, you know, if you're doing something that has less, less, uh, less competition or no competition at all in that field, mm -hmm. it's a no-brainer, right? which means you know there's more market share for you and it just makes perfect sense to me and um, you know the products are beautiful like uh, the fact that they're um, you know uh, visual products you mm -hmm. know we're able to start conversation so much easier and we and we don't have to really educate people on what a watch is or what a purse is people already use this you mm -hmm. using these products on, on a daily basis absolutely okay what was your target uh, when you first got started though 
You know what? what? Um, my target when I got first started is I actually, would, you know, I, I just want to get my feet wet, but then for some reason, great things were happening, and, and then from there, I saw, you know, how you're able to achieve diplomat, ambassador, regional, national, oh. global. So my first target was, you know, for sure to get to Diamond ASAP and also uh, break diplomat and also break my, uh, and help my team break the, uh, the diplomat status. Mm -hmm. That was when I first got started. So what have you achieved so far? Oh uh, man, like not gonna lie, Global Global Vulture has given me so many opportunities, so many doors has opened, not only just within the business, but also different companies, uh, you know, wanting to work with uh, my team and I, um, you know, I was able to, uh, when I first got started, I was working between 80 to 90 hours a week at my nail salon with my family business, and uh, now I'm able to cut almost half of my time now, and 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 the beauty about that is that the, my, my achievement is not because of what I have achieved, it's because of what I have helped other people to achieve as well, like Ozzy, I'm sitting next to Ozzy, Sandy, uh, Hui, you know, helping uh, Charlie launch his uh, Las Vegas market, and wow. and it's just a you know the, um, the feeling of giving back is where I, I see the achievement from is because you know in order you know like because I know my goal is to help them make money, and and my goal is to help all of them make more money than me because at the end of the day I still know that 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 uh, that I'm still gonna win as well so it's a win-win situation for both parties. Absolutely. So um, that's that's amazing. And uh, what are your next targets? Uh, my next target is for sure helping my team uh, break uh, ambassador and uh, also moving up to re regional ambassador and just live and just living up to you guys. You know, you guys are inspiring us each and every single day, and just want to increase my uh, leadership uh, with you guys and just. You know, I you know I definitely want to become one of the ten uh, the ten K club and and make six figures a year with Global Wall Trade and be one of the testimonials for for you know for for becoming a forensic student and uh, a forensic net, uh, networker. Great, great. Um, other than that, do you have any other things you'd like to add here and the, what the your amazing experience with Global Wall Trade? Yes, absolutely. You know, uh, one thing that I've learned um, is that you know, if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But what mm -hmm. you do is hard, your life will be much easier in the future. So, make sure to sacrifice the next couple of years to live the life that you want to live, so you can enjoy the rest of your life the way that you always had dreamt of. Great. Thank you for your wisdom here. Thank you for your, for your sharing. Uh, I love everything you said here today. Uh, thank you so much, Marshall. Um, okay, let's move on to the next uh, um, amazing leader. And I'm, I because uh, Abdul Razak is actually in uh, in Nigeria, and he as uh, as I mentioned earlier, actually he actually um, be, uh, became um, he 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 joined the twenty five k club. Uh, but because he's in Nigeria and it's three o'clock in the morning, I'm not sure if uh, the um, if he has. Uh, we we have him on the line at this moment. Uh, Marshall, do you see him by any chance? Marshall, do you see Abdul Razak uh, with us tonight? If not, we're gonna have to. Uh, skip I, unfortunately. Him. Uh huh. Go ahead. Unfortunately, I do not see Abdul Razak. Um, he's not on with us right now. Okay. Um. Yeah, because of technical difficulties, I think uh, there's uh, some um, mis mis mess up on the on the on the line here. Hopefully, we can get him back uh, very soon. And uh, let's go back. Let's go to the next um, amazing lady here. So next, um, have uh, Miss Abdulia. Hi, Abdulia. Are you there with us? Hello, Sherry. I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Very good. Uh, Julia, I'm so excited to have you on this call, and you are such a powerhouse. I know you've been doing a lot with Latino market, and um, you joined the business not too long ago as well. Then, uh, so please share with us uh, when did you join and why you joined Global Wall Street. So I joined GWT about um, a little bit over two years ago. Yeah. And... Um, the reason why I joined, I mean, obviously the first thing was luxury fashion, so I was like, oh my God, you know, I can get it at a discount price, let's do this, right? But I was also looking for an opportunity um, business-wise. So I was also looking to start my own business because I was tired of corporate. 
Um, I've been in the U.S. for 14 years, so I'm actually, you know, a Mexican. I was born and raised in Mexico. And um, the reason why I came to the U.S. was to have a better life, you know, to, to obtain an education because for me, um, being educated was a better future, you know, to have a better future. Then I got my, my degree and um, was able to graduate from a private university. Um, mm -hmm. I financially support myself since I'm uh, 16 years old. So wow. I was really, really proud of that because, you know, it was, it, it was the reason why I came here, right? It was the reason why I came. But at the same time, after graduating, I continued working for corporate, and, um, and that was not me. You know, that was not me. Uh, the, the better position you get in corporate, you become more like a slave to them. You have less time for your family. You have less time for your, your personal life. So even though at first I, all I wanted it was to get a good position in a corporation, that was my goal, you know, coming to the U.S., um, when I was already there, I was like, this is not me. You know, I don't want to. What, what, is, what is out there that I, can, that I can find, that I can be part of? And I love fashion, you know me, I love fashion, but I didn't have $30,000 to start my own business, you know, $30,000, $50,000. So when GWT came to me, I was like, oh my God, this is it, you know, because you don't have to invest a lot of money on it, you know, to own your own BDM, mm -hmm. and it was just perfect. It was just perfect. I wanted to spend more time with my son, obviously. I was looking for financial freedom, and, and uh, I see this, GWT has a great opportunity for me to build that financial freedom for me and for my son, so uh, now I'm, I'm able to spend more time with him, uh, you know, to pick him up from school, to take him to school if I have to, uh, versus working at a 40-hour job, there's no way you can do that. There's definitely no way, so it is... Um, I'm really, I'm really blessed, um, you know, to have you as one of my mentors, have one of my app line, and, and to have, like, you know, we are family, and we help each other, so that, that's, I think that's the reason why I joined you, the WT, um, just to, to put it that, together. Oh, wow, that, that is a, a lot of, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's very detailed, thank you so much uh, and on that, and uh, so what, are, what, what was your targets when, we, when you first got started? So, I didn't know much. Um, this is my first um, MLM, so I have to be honest. I didn't know anything about residual income. I didn't know anything about, you know, sponsoring or like nothing, right? So mm -hmm. I was not familiar with the system. Now I'm familiar a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So at uh, first was, okay, become a diamond, you know, because mm -hmm. I understood that right away that becoming a diamond, you get, you know, everything, all the, all the benefits from it. So mm -hmm. that was my initial target to be, you know, just becoming mm -hmm. a diamond. So I became a diamond within my first 30 days. Then what it was my next target, becoming a diplomat. So at this point, my, my target is to become an ambassador. And I'm, and I'm just this close. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, any minute, any minute, we, we you know, I'm going to be very, very proud to announce that I'm the new and the first Latin Tina Ambassador and GWT. I can't wait to see that. I know you're going to achieve that anytime soon, and we need to celebrate that when that time comes. So, um, okay, I'll do that. Uh, let's move on. So what, are, uh, so what have you achieved so far with Global Trade? Like, so, uh, mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, I've been, uh, my, my goal was to grow the Latino presence in GWT at the moment because I was yeah. like, well, if I'm going to benefit, if I'm going to become a millionaire, I want other Latinos to come with me, and I want other Latinas specifically to, to really be part of this, of this financial freedom. Mm -hmm. So I, um, so far I have achieved, I have a sponsor, and I have started, starting to make that movement within the Latino community, mm -hmm. um, and I'm really, really happy that it's just not me who's growing in GWT, but there's other Latinos who are also, you know, becoming diamond, becoming diplomats, and who are also following my steps. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, you put it out there, and uh, you have already got a lot of uh, people joining you, and I believe you're going to achieve that very soon, so your next targets are? First Latina ambassador, first Latina IRA, and first Latina and a, a national ambassador. 
I want to be like, I want other Latinos to see me and say, if she can do it, I can do it. Because I, I don't speak perfect English. Uh, you know, I always say this, uh, Spanish is my first language. And, I, and I, if I can do all these things, um, anyone can do it. So, so you know, I, I really want the Latino community to see that uh, the, this GWT changes our lives. You know, GWT is the company. And the only company that is really going to help you achieve that financial freedom, achieve the life status that you want to achieve. Absolutely, absolutely. So any other words you'd like to give to your, our attendees today? Um, ex I guess I love these that we have in our, in our checklist. Um, I love that you are in your business for yourself, but never by yourself. Yes. So that's something very important that I have learned that, yes, this is your business, but you have a whole family supporting you. So, yeah. yes. Excellent. Thank you so much, Abdulia. And uh, let's move on to our next uh, next person, which is uh, our um, amazing, amazing regional ambassador, Le uh, Lior Skiller. Lior, are you on the line with us? Hi, Sherry. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, Lior. Welcome to the call, and uh, I'm very excited to have you today. And you have uh, changed many people's lives. So why don't you tell us, like, how you got started and why you got started with Global Wall Street? Well, thank you so much, Sherry, and uh, hello to everybody all around the world. Uh, congratulations, Sherry, first of all, for all of your success. Um, I know that you've been instrumental to the success that I've had over the years, and you know, I want to thank you so much for, uh, for everything that you've done for me and for my business and for my team. Um, you know, I got started in this business about six years ago. Um, I you know, came to this country as an immigrant from Israel uh, with, uh, with my mother, who was a single mother. Um, you know, we came to Canada when I was five years old, and she brought me to Canada to give me a better life. And mm -hmm. um, you know, life life was not uh, that great when we got here. You know, she was uh, doing the best that she could as a single mother. She was working 12 hours a day, trying to put food on our on our table. And um, you know, I, I I saw how hard she was working, and you know, I I wanted to create a better life for myself and for us as a family. And so. Um, you know, I got older and, um, you know, I had to get a job when I was 16 years old, um, mm -hmm. so I did, and I've been in sales since I was 16. Uh, for almost 19 years I've been in sales now, and I've done, you know, almost every single sales job that you could do. I've done telemarketing, door-to-door -door sales, business-to-business -business sales, retail sales, consulting sales, you name it. Wow. Uh, but every sales job, but every sales job that I've done in my life, I never felt like I was actually helping to make somebody else's life better with what I was selling them. I felt like I was just making the company more money and while they were paying me enough just so that I could survive from paycheck to paycheck. And you know, that wasn't a life that I was committed to living. You know, I was I was I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, um, not making enough money, not being able to be free, felt like I was in jail for eight hours a day when I was going to work, <laughs> hated my alarm clock, hated sitting in traffic hated being told to be somewhere so early in the morning, hated being told when I'm allowed to eat lunch, hated falling asleep in my cubicle because of how bored I was, hated being told when I'm allowed to go home, hated sitting in traffic again at the end of the day, hated being exhausted and falling, falling asleep on the couch, hated having to do it all over again the next day, five days a week for 50 weeks a year. Mm -hmm. And then I hated and then I hated to only have two weeks of vacation f throughout the year. So I, I, I felt like many, many millions of people do around the world. I, I hated feeling like a modern day slave. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so I started to educate myself on you know, different ways to achieve financial freedom. And I started to read books. And I, um, you know, I, I, I started to read a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And you know, what I learned in this book, um, is how rich people think and how poor people think. And, you know, rich people work on residual income and they work on leverage. And there was one quote in this book that I remember by J. Paul Getty, and this was, I would make 1% of 100 people's efforts 
than 100% of my own effort. So I went in search of a system that could actually provide me with that kind of income. And this is when I was introduced to GWT. I was actually hesitant to look at it first because Jewel was not really my thing, but I saw that the money that my sponsor was making and you know, I went to see what it was all about. Now, as soon as I saw the residual income slide in the tour, I remember J. Paul Getty's quote, but instead of 1% of 100 people's efforts, GWT was offering 8% of unlimited people's efforts. <laughs> so yeah. I was blown away. And, you know, I got started right away and, you know, instantly went to work. Mm -hmm. um, I, went, I went to my uplines and I asked them, you know, what should I do? And they said, well, all you need to do is you need to introduce people to the opportunity by showing them the tour, either through the video or through the live tour and then connect them to us and uh, do a three-way call and we'll answer any questions they have. So I did that. Uh, three people got started in my first 30 days um, and then I went back to my uplines and I said, okay, I got three people, now what do I do? And they said, well, do the same thing with them, just duplicate that. I said, okay, so I work with my three people and my three people send people the tour and connected them to my uplines while I was still learning and you know, in my first 30 days, my three people turned into 38 people and you know, I made three and a half thousand dollars and made back all the money that I invested for the diamond package, which I started with. Yeah. So I thought that, thought that was great. Um, and then in my first three months, I went from 38 to 300 people and I made about $18,000. So at this point, I quit my job, thankfully, never have to be in jail again for the rest of my life. Um, and, you know, I've been having success ever since. And so, you know, some of the things that I, you know, can attribute to the success that I've had um, is number one is, well, there's, 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 there's really three things. Number one is I've always had the mindset of a lifelong student. And so when I first got started, um, I knew that I wanted to be a presenter because I knew that as soon as I became a presenter, that's when uh, I could inspire people and I could show people the way to financial freedom. And so I would come to every tour, every live tour, every weekly tour. I would sit in the back of the room. I would listen to it over and over again. I would take notes. I would practice presenting and I would do it even if I wasn't ready. I remember I was pushed in to do a tour uh, by our VP of product development, Sanaz Human. And you know, as much as I didn't like the experience in the beginning, I'm, I'm actually grateful that she did that because that allowed me to you know, practice over and over and over again so that I can get to the point like I did uh, you know, a few months ago at the convention where I presented to over a thousand people. Mm -hmm. And so you know, you know, now I'm um, looking forward to presenting to over 10,000 people. So I've, al I've, I've always wanted to be a presenter. I knew that was important. I've always wanted to be a trainer. And so you know, when I first got started, I, w I, I constantly um, asked my uplines, I said, I want to train at the boot camp, so how do I become that? And mm -hmm. they said, well, here's, here's the slides, practice them, and you can practice with us, and then you, know, you can train at the boot camp. So quickly, I began to train at the boot camp, and the more I trained at the boot camp, the more by, my belief went up, the more my confidence went up, the more I understood the business, and the more that I could explain it to people. So, you know, I knew that I wanted to become a trainer as quickly as possible, and I did that, and then um, I also knew that I wanted to be a leader, and you know, to be a leader, you need to understand certain leadership principles. And you know, um, luckily, we have great training, uh, world-class training from our CEO and founder, Ramin Mazgarlu. Um, you know, and I learned things such as you know, positive down, negative up. Um, I learned things like how to support a team around the world. I learned things like momentum, and you know, how to keep momentum and. Um, you know, different leadership strategies and, you know, I was always talking to my uplines about certain leadership things. So, you know, because of my mindset of being a lifelong student, um, I became a great presenter, I became a great trainer, and I became a good leader. Um, the second thing was I had the mindset of the 1%, and the 1% is willing to do what 99% of the world is not willing to do. And so, you know, there was a time where I wanted to start my team in Montreal and, you know, when a team is new, you want to be there to support them as often as you can. So every single Wednesday, I would drive five hours there in the morning and five hours back in the evening, 10 hours of driving a day just to attend the weekly tour to show them the support because I had meetings the next day and I had to come back the next day. And so, you know, I remember doing that in, in, in snowstorms 
where I could barely see six feet in front of me. And you know, every week that I would do that, I would remind myself, this is going to pay off. This is going to be worth it. I have to be willing to do what 99% of the world is not willing to do. I have to keep reminding myself of that. And you know, an, another example was when I went to Nigeria earlier this year in February to be able to do tours and presentations over there. You know, I, I had to do a boot camp training, and that morning I woke up with food poisoning and a fever, and so for seven hours I had to train a boot camp with a fever and food poisoning. And, you know, wow. not a great experience, but I kept reminding myself I have to be willing to do what 99% of people are not willing to do if I want to have the results that only 1% of the world has. Um, so, you know, those are a few examples of, you know, what it takes to have the mindset of the one print. And then number three is the mindset of success. And to have the mindset of success, you have to be willing to do personal development. You know, I heard of Tony Robbins by accident on YouTube when I was 16 years old, and I started watching all of his videos, and slowly my brain started to change. It started to be programmed for success. And from there, I learned about, you know, some of the great legends like Jim Rohn and, you know, Zig Ziglar, who taught me that, you know, the more people I help to become successful, the more successful I'm going to become. And I've been doing personal development, you know, since I was 16 years old, and over and over and over again. And so I've I program my brain for positivity and for success. So those three things, the mindset of a lifelong student, the mindset of the 1%, and the mindset of success have you know, allowed me to get to where I am today. Um, you know, because of those things, um, you know, 2009, in my first year in the company, I was, I was uh, in the rest of the year. Uh, elite Leadership Award in 2010. I was given an Elite Leadership Award 2011. Um, I was given the highest honor of the company, the President's Cup. Uh, 2012 Elite Leadership Award. 2012 Top Recruit Worldwide. 2013 Leadership Award. 2013 Shareholder of the Year Award winner. I was just given the award for you know the top recruiter in the world. Um, you know featured in BusinessForHome.org. Feat on MLM superstars.ea and I'm not t sharing all of these with you just to brag about how great I am because anybody can achieve and accomplish what I've accomplished if you're only willing if you're only willing to be responsible for your success and to have the mindset of a lifelong student to have the mindset of the 1% and to have the mindset of success Thank you so much for sharing this mindset you have. And uh, I believe this is very, very powerful to a lot of people. And I hopefully uh, everyone can pick that uh, mindset of yours and start to build as strong as, uh, as uh, what you have built. And that's what we really want uh, for our uh, GDP family because the more people, the more people make money, the more people be successful, the more money you are going to make, correct? Thank you, Sherry. And just finally, I want to uh, share my goals for next year, for 2015. Uh, yeah. You know, you always have to set the bar um, where where you're uncomfortable. If you have a goal that doesn't make you uncomfortable, that's that's not a goal that's going to uh, give you a sense of urgency and inspire you. So, you know, the goals that I've set for 2015 that make me uncomfortable are you know 200 personally launched VDMs. I'm at 103 right now, so 200 does not make me comfortable, but that's my target. Over 5,000 VDMs uh, in my team, which is almost doubling what I have right now, um, in over 80 countries around the world. Five regional ambassadors in my team, and many, 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 many people making $10,000 a month or more in the 10K club. Um, and helping lots of people around the world to be able to have freedom and to live life the way that they've always wanted to live it with their families, traveling the world, and living the life that they love. So thank you very much, Sherry, for giving me the opportunity to share today, and back to you. Thank you so much, Leo, for sharing your targets for next year. And I really, I, I see that you are going to achieve that. I know you can. So let's move back, actually, uh, before I bring in uh, the last uh, powerhouse that I really, I know a lot of you like to hear from him. But uh, we uh, finally have Abdul Razak, all the way from Nigeria. It's on the call with us. And um, I see if uh, I can hear. Abdul, Abdul Razak, are you there? 
Abdul. Yes, I am. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes great, great. Uh, welcome to the call, and uh, I'm glad that you are here to uh, with us. And you know, um, I know you are all the way from Nigeria. You are like three o'clock in the morning uh, for you right now, but you are still here. And I like to have, uh, um, you know, we are running out of time a little bit, so we need to be a little bit faster. Uh, but uh, I, I like to, and I, I believe a lot of uh, people like to hear from you and share with us your experience, why you should join GWT and how you achieve $25,000 a month in such short period of time. Thank you, Sherry. Um, I'd like to apologize. I um, was confused with the time. Actually, it's actually um, 4.15 a.m. right now. So, oh, okay. Uh, time different. That's what happened. So uh, I'm sorry right. about that. No but, problem. Um, um, why did I join GWT? Funny, you know, uh, some people already know my story. I actually started the business for my wife. I was, um, at that time, I was doing a business for myself, and um, I stumbled upon uh, GWT, and I thought, okay, this is a fashion. Let me start my wife off, and then, you know, eventually I met uh, Yoskano when he came to Nigeria, and he opened my eyes to the business, and I decided to uh, take the account away from my wife, because at that time, like I said, I was doing a lot business, and I wasn't making money so i said you know what um i think you know i can i can make 500 dollars every single week from this and that would be bad so that was that was the first reason that i saw you know i wanted to make you know i was making money and i thought we can really make money in this uh, opportunity so that's what got me started wow so only so you talk if uh at first uh first time first when you got started it was only 500 dollars a week and now we see you made $25,000 a month. That's way more than $500 a week. So tell, tell us how you, like, like how you did it. Like what, what, what have you done to achieve that? Yes, um, it's very simple. Um, I've got a very simple principle. It's, a, it's something, you know, if you want to get something done, you mm -hmm. have to go out and do it. That's just it. If you want anything in your, in your life, you want to do anything, you just have to, uh, you know, um, like you said, yeah, yeah, you just have to get um, comfortable and do um, the things that um, other people will not like to do. So um, I'm not afraid to um, to do um, to work. I'm not afraid to achieve. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm always excited to to go out and achieve. Mm -hmm. So I, I, no barriers, no limits. Just go out and get things done because you you, you want to have a better uh, um, lifestyle for yourself, for your family, for people around you. And um, you know, I just want to learn. I learn a lot. I read a lot. I am always looking to uh, be a better person. So um, that's just that's my motivation. I just want to keep getting better and better and better at everything I do. So I go out and I just get things done. I help a lot of people to get things done. Uh, no matter, I don't like excuses. People that know me understand that I don't like people to grumble around me. Okay? Whatever happens, you know, has happened. Okay? Just learn from it, take the lesson and move on. So that's just it. That's me. I, I just keep, you know, doing it and doing it and doing it. That's it. Absolutely. And um, I, I, I'm sorry that I think the connection is not too strong, so uh, we we hear a little bit of feedback from uh, from uh, from your side. But uh, basically, what uh, Abdul Razak uh, is sharing here is uh, just do it. That's uh, that's actually uh, um, you know uh, your team name. You know, team do it. And I uh, I, I really feel that. And uh, same as what Leo shared, uh, Abdul Razak said, you just need to make yourself uncomfortable. You know, that's what the leaders uh, leader mindset, and uh, that's how. Leo did it. That's how Abdul Razak doing it. And I know many of us, you know, you just need to do it, and you just need to really make yourself uncomfortable. And and I hear that from you. So uh, last question for you, Abdul Razak. What's your target for next year for 2015? Uh, my target for 2015, first of all, personally, um, well. Um, my team, first of all, I put my team first. So yeah. um, I want, um, I want, um, you know, to see um, my team. I want to promote my frontline uh, team members. At least I want to do at least, at least I want to do five regional ambassadors. I mean, that's the target is, is exactly ten. I want to do ten regional ambassadors for ten. But I think, you know, 
fund will do. And yeah. um, I want to, want to do at least want to do at least about twenty ambassadors, new ambassadors next year. Yeah. And, um, personally, of course, um, I want to hit national ambassador next year. Um, you know, and want to help. Want to put um, as many as you know up to five thousand people in in our team. That's uh, my personal goal next year. We'll put five thousand or more people in um, the way Wall Street from our team. And um, you know that's 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 basically you know what I have planned for next year. I'm excited about that. Thank you so much, Abdul Razak, for sharing with us your um, your your targets for next year. And I know uh, this this sounds very similar, guys and ladies and gentlemen. You we we heard from Leo Scaler, we heard from Abdul Razak. They all have big targets, and they are all achievers. So um, here, uh, let's uh, move uh, move on to the next uh, uh, the last but not least our. National Ambassador Mr. Raja Mascalu. Mr. Raja Mascalu is uh, uh, it's our first GWT millionaire and he has achieved so many things with Global Wall Street and uh, I know he's uh, he's online with us and Raja, uh, can we, uh, are you there? Hello Raja? Yes I am Sherry, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Yes, Yes, okay, we have we we have a little bit uh, over time, so um, let's um, quick and easy and make uh, make a very powerful speech here, Raja. I know you can do it, and please give us uh, your inspiration and why you joined TWT and what TWT has uh, done for you and what are your next targets. Well, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever part of the world you may be. I'm going to um, make it short and sweet and to the point, and it doesn't really matter what kind of awards I received and what kind of accolades I got. They were sweet and great at the time and I celebrated my uh, little victories at the time and uh, what's priceless for me today is not just those memories but what the life I get to live and this is a life I chose. Mm -hmm. uh, I was clear in my mind what I wanted to do. It was clear in my mind I needed the right company to do it with. I was barely out of high school when I learned about direct sales, when I learned about the power of this industry, when I understood that how I can leverage my time, how I can work it hard once and enjoy it for life. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, it took me 16 years. The hard part was finding the right company. It took me 16 years to find the right company. Um, you know, I uh, joined uh, four other programs uh, and um, I applied myself. I worked just as hard if not harder. Uh, with those programs the same and I, you know what I made money with every single one of them but none of them delivered what they promised and that's build it hard for two, three to five years and enjoy it for life uh, so basically there was no residual true residual following me and you know what anyone else would have uh, been bitter and throw their hands up in the air and quit this industry not me I had seen it I knew it was just a matter of time that I could partner up with the right program and I can get to enjoy that in 2005, when I saw this program, it was a no-brainer for a number of reasons. Number one, the CEO of this company, <laughs> I've known him all my life. I have built businesses with him all my life. I know his work ethics. I know his, uh, uh, you know, uh, the way he does things. And most importantly, I know his heart. So I, it was a no-brainer. I joined right away at the time. I worked for the government here in Ottawa, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, for most people, they would be like, you know what, I'm comfortable, I'm single, I got no dependents, I got a good job, if there is such a thing, I play with the real estate on the side, so I don't need to do it, I don't have time for anything else, I'm happy, right? No, not for me, I knew, I've never had a plan of working until I'm 67 years old to retire, so I can go find a retirement job, I refuse to live uh, average ordinary when I have so much more out there for me. So uh, when I saw this opportunity, I joined in 2008, I, I decided to get started per se uh, in terms of building the business. And you know, part-time serious basically, uh, my job was in the morning, nights and weekends, I shared this opportunity absolutely with the world. Didn't matter if it was on, on the web, didn't matter if it was in person, didn't matter if it was in weekly tours, didn't matter if it was on telephone, it didn't really matter. I believe in this company and the industry, and most importantly, I have confidence in myself. I share this opportunity with absolutely everybody. And you know what? Um, since since 2008, uh, I have had have helped 92 people launch their own VDMs. 
92, that's it. And the 92 people has grown to over 30,000 in 90 plus countries. That's making me some significant wealth. My prize is what I, what I got today. The freedom to do what I want, when I want, with whoever I want, make as much money as I want. Uh, it's just insane. I mean, I can't put a price on that. I mean, money is great in, initially. We all need the money to improve our lifestyle, to pay debts, to, uh, you know, buy new toys, take some exotic trips, uh, you know, but eventually you get used to that. This company pays weekly. They pay you every week. This company Ooh. pays every week without any limitation, without any flashing of points or anything like that. So you get used to that money, but what you cannot get used to is the freedom, that true freedom that mm -hmm. this company has to offer. Today, basically, uh, I don't consider this work. I consider this fun. I <laughs> gladly do it. The fact that you know I travel all over the world um, you know, to help so many people launch new markets, that's like a new challenge for me how you know have fun with different markets and how to start a different market and how to learn to do things I never knew how to do before uh, that's just priceless uh, you know uh, what can I tell you Sherry this is just beyond dream come true Absolutely. and my targets are global ambassador by the convention uh, working at it working at it very hard and mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's pretty much it thank you so much Raza for for being here for us and sharing with us